What is up, my new VIM friends? Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how to migrate from Packer to the Lazy InVim Plugin Manager. I recently went through this same process and I ran into a couple issues, so I wanted to provide a walkthrough and then let you avoid some of those issues that I ran into. If this is your first time on the channel, then welcome. And if you like new VIM content, then definitely like and subscribe, and we'll jump into how to migrate from Packer to Lazy InVim. One of the first things that I want to recommend here is having a backup editor. So you're going to be editing your NeoVim configuration here. So definitely having a backup like VS Code or Vim that you can use to get into. And so you don't have a spew of error messages if you do something out of order. So having a backup lets you get in and edit those files without having to struggle with NeoVim being in a half state of kind of configured, but not all the way. All right, so we're here on the terminal and I have Packer installed. So if we open up NeoVim, then we can go to my Packer file. And this is where you should have all your plugins installed. I have a init here that has those required. And then if we go into here, we want to start before we even edit any of these plugins. We want to make sure that all of our configuration is not going to run while we're in the middle of installing all these plugins. So let's actually go back to the root directory. And in here, you can see that I have an after directory. This will automatically load all my plugins. So if I go an after plugin, this is where all my configuration is. So the dot setup calls or uh, for like telescope, this is where all that configuration lives. Now, what I wanna do is rename this and instead of calling it after, since it will auto load these, I wanna rename to temp. That way I don't have anything loading whenever the plugins are not installed. So let's go back into our Packer file and delete this top section. We also don't need this part or this Packer here. We go to the website. If you've never seen this before, this is Lazy InVim, which is different from the lazy vim distribution the lazy vim distribution includes this and a bunch of other goodies but this is just the package manager so keep note of that lazy InVim has really been developed by this guy folky if you've never heard of him he makes a lot of really awesome plugins so give him a shout out on twitter or some of the other spaces and let him know that you appreciate his work now why would you want to migrate to lazy InVim? Well, here's just some of the examples where you can lazy load a lot of your configuration. You have a little bit faster startup times. Everything is configured in Lua. And then you have this nice lazy lock file that keeps track of all your different plugins and updates. All right, so we want to scroll down here into the installation section and we want to copy this first part. So if we copy this, go back to here and we paste it in, then we're gonna need to capture all these plugins into a local variable. So we can say local plugins equals, and then some curlies. Now we don't need this end anymore, so we can add a curly to stop this at the end. All right, now what we need to do is replace all of these use with nothing because we don't need these for lazy bin anymore. So, Let's do the old swap with the regex and kill those. Now you'll need to add some trailing commas. You can do this fancier than I can. I'm just gonna blow through this real quick, so hold on. All right, now from here, we need to one, get rid of this tree sitter thing because this will break for us here in a second. And we need to swap out a few of these keywords. If we look over here in our setup, we need to swap setup to being in it, requires the dependencies, and all these other ones. So go through this list and check your Packer config and migrate all these. For us, I think I only have three of them, the requires and the opt and the run to build. So let's make those changes real quick. So we're over here, we're going to swap run for build. We will swap our requires with dependencies. And last but not least, we will swap opt 
or lazy. All right. Now we have a few of these parentheses in here as well. I'm also gonna get rid of these cause we don't need them anymore. So let's go here, go to the end and get rid of those parentheses. Where else do we have some parentheses? Here. Here is another one. There's not too many of those. So now if we format the file, we should get a nice format. The last thing we need, if we go back to our first section here, is this require lazy, and this is where we're gonna use the plugins. So let's copy this, and this will go at the very bottom. So make sure that this is the last thing at the end of your file. Let's save it, and ops is not gonna be used right now, so let's make that an empty table. Now, one thing that we have to make sure to do is to add our leader key. And so for us, I have that mapped over here in remaps to be this map leader. So let's grab that and go back over to our Packer file, paste that in, and we should be good to go at, at that point. Let's save the file. And now we can actually update this to not be Packer. And instead we can have it be lazy.lua. And then in our init file, we'll make sure that we require that as well. So we'll do lazy at the first, write that. From here, we should be good to go. So we can quit NeoVim. And if we open it back up, then you should see this lazy prompt show up and start to install all of your plugins. Right now, Vim Surround looks like it's struggling quite a bit. So uh, you should not see any errors unless there is something wrong with one of your plugins. So we'll let all of this finish and it looks like everything is working except for this VS Code JS debug. I'll have a note on that here in a second. All right, we have all of our plugins installed. Now we can queue out of that. And now we can do a check health lazy by speller, right? Check health lazy. And this will show us if you have any errors. And so at this point, we only have our Packer directory that we can go and kill here in a second. Other than that, everything looks good. So let's rename this temp directory to after, or if you have a different configuration, however you want to bring in your plugin configs back into the system. Let's move that. We'll quit out and do another NeoVim open. And you can see that our color scheme is now loaded and our tree sitter plugins are all being installed and your remaps and everything should work at this point. So if I open up telescope, then this all works for me and has my different keyboard shortcuts. And then if I open any of the other plugins that I normally have, then all of these work as I expect them to. So let's quit out of here and then let's remove our packer stuff. So if we, what I like to do is get rid of just the whole site directory, which will have all your Packer information in it. If I remove that, all right. Now, if we open up NeoVim and we open up our check health lazy, we shouldn't see any errors. So this is success. Oh yeah. A couple issues I ran into whenever making this migration in the VS Code plugin. So this is your DAP or your debug adapter for VS Code or like your JavaScript stuff. Uh, for me, this would not work because the default directory is actually Packer. And so what I had to do is set the debugger path to be my home directory. And then I manually installed this debugger onto my system. I'll have a video going over the debug adapter later, but I just wanted to give you a heads up that if you're using this, definitely make sure that you override where this default directory is. Another thing that I updated is whenever in the lazy config, down here at the bottom, you can add some configuration to where it won't give you a change detection notification every time you make a change in this file. So for example, if you got rid of a plugin and you write, then you would see a little notification saying that 
the config has changed. For me, I did not want to see that. I added this other configuration, which is change detection, and then a little curly and notify false. So if you don't want to see that notification that shows up every time you edit your lazy NVIM configuration, I would recommend adding this to your setup as well. If you like the video, definitely like and subscribe. And I appreciate you watching. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks.